Hematopoiesis is the formation and development of red and white blood cells from a type of cell called the hematopoietic stem cell. Hematopoietic stem cells are self-renewing, that is, they can multiply constantly to maintain their number. Primitive hematopoiesis, wherein, the embryo produces only red blood cells that can provide developing organs with oxygen, begins in the embryonic yolk sac. As the embryo continues to develop, the hematopoiesis process moves to the liver, the spleen, and bone marrow. After birth, hematopoiesis stops in the liver and spleen and continues in the bone marrow. Generally, in normal adults, hematopoiesis occurs in the bone marrow and is called medullary hematopoiesis. In certain pathological conditions, hematopoiesis occurs in the liver and spleen, and is known as extramedullary hematopoiesis. Hematopoietic stem cells are pluripotent or multipotent, which means, they can differentiate into various other cell types. Early in hematopoiesis, a multipotent stem cell differentiates giving rise to either a common lymphoid progenitor cell or a common myeloid progenitor cell. These progenitor cells do not have the capacity for self-renewal and are committed to a particular cell lineage. Common lymphoid progenitor cells give rise to progenitors of B and T lymphocytes, natural killer cells, and some dendritic cells. B lymphocyte progenitors later differentiate into B cells and T lymphocyte progenitors differentiate into T helper cells and T cytotoxic cells. Common myeloid progenitor cells give rise to progenitors of red blood cells, granulocyte monocyte progenitors, megakaryote, progenitors of eosinophils, basophils, and dendritic cells. When the appropriate growth factors and cytokines are present, progenitor cells proliferate and differentiate into the corresponding cell type. Progenitors of RBC differentiates into RBC, granulocyte monocyte progenitors give rise to monocytes and neutrophils, megakaryo differentiates into platelets, eosinophil progenitor differentiates into eosinophils, and basophil progenitor differentiates into basophils. Each of the blood cells produced by hematopoiesis has a characteristic lifespan, and then dies by a process called programmed cell death. White blood cells have the shortest lifespan, sometimes surviving just a few hours to a few days, while, red blood cells can last up to 120 days or more. If programmed cell death fails to occur, a leukemic state may develop, with uncontrolled growth of white blood cells in the body.